Now I'm going to fit that one and chop it in again like I did this one down here. Apparently she quite likes it now so it might be staying so I'd have been able to fit the skirting up to it. But a bit late now. Not too happy that I've chopped so much away on that joint. So I'm going to see if I can get get some reinforcement in here, get a block in maybe, plenty of glue. It's going to be held by a shelf, it's held by the top and it's held at the bottom. It's not going to go anywhere. Right, now I've chopped in these edges again. Didn't want to bore you with the chopping out, but they turned out okay. This time I put a little bit of foam behind them. Just a little bit, just to pack them out. So I put a couple of screws in either side. One down there, one in here. And I've just stood this door in, just to see what sort of shape the frame's in. And that's okay, actually. So what I'll do is put a couple of fixings in the tops, hang the doors, and then I can fix the rest of the frame to that. Right, these are half fail soft close hinges from screw fix put these screws just tear them out they're for pre-drilled cabinets those holes are quite those holes are nice for screws you get sixes in there quite easily now Although this board is three quarter board, 18 mil, I'm only using five eight sixes in this. those hinges straight to the frame. Right, that's fixed in place. I put four fixings in down there. Each time I put one in I shut the door just to make sure that it wasn't pulling it out of shape. It's a slight gap on the top. I knew there was going to be a gap so it's, it's whether we leave it or whether I put a beetle on. We'll see. I've got some shelves to cut inside. There's going to be sheets of plywood. Batten around the wall. Lip on the front. Desk next. 